Hey there guys, welcome again to another video lesson. And in this video, we are going to talk about geometric mean. So geometric mean is the term or terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. So in this given geometric sequence, if we are given negative 40 and 5, ang geometric means i 20 and negative 10. We can also say that 20 is the geometric mean between negative 40 and negative 10. So a geometric mean is simply a term or terms in between two given terms. Let's have sample problems. So fill in the blanks with the missing terms. So hahanapin natin yung geometric mean in between 7 and 63. And to do that, kailangan nating malaman yung common ratio. But actually, my shortcut kung paano kukunin ang middle term. Since we only have one middle term, we can actually do this method. Para makuha yan, we can actually take the square root of their product. So 63 times 7, 441. And the square root of 441 is 21. Since square root pala yan, there can be two possible answers. So pwedeng positive. 21 or put it in among negative 21. So there are two possible answers here. It can be positive or negative 21. Let's have another example. Since my middle term ulit dito, we can do that method we used on the previous problem. So para mako yung middle term, you we get the square root of the product of the two given terms. So that is 8 times 648. At kung ikakalkyo mo yan, ang lalabas na sagot ay 72. So that is positive or negative 72. Pero sige na nga, let's use positive for now. Pero actually, there can be two possible answers. Now, for us naman to get the middle of 8 and 72, we get their product. And we're going to take the square root of their product. And if we're going to evaluate that, the answer will be 24. So we're going to put 24 here. And para naman makuha yung term in between 72 and 648, we're going to take the square root of the product of 72 and 648. And the answer there is 216. So ayun guys, kung actually, kung my middle term talaga, we can use that method. But actually, hindi palaging ganun ang binibigay na problem. Let's have our last example. Okay, sometimes ganito ang ibibigay na problem. So find the two geometric means between 8 and 64 over 27. So dalawa ang middle term dito. And we cannot use the method that we used on the previous problems kasi magagamit lang natin yung method na yun kung may isang middle term. In this case, dalawa ang middle term. So, paano na natin makukuha yung geometric mean ng sequence na to? Well, we are going to use the formula. So, sa formula na ito, gagamitin natin yung binigay na terms for us to solve for the common ratio. And after solving for the common ratio, we are going to multiply it to the first term to get the next terms. So let's try to do that. So given the first term, given the fourth term, we're going to use this as our a sub n. So ang a sub n natin yung, ay yung a sub 4. a sub 1 natin is yung 8. Common ratio yung hinahanap natin. And take note, yung n natin ay 4. So minus 1. And so a sub 4 here is the fourth term, which is 64 over 27, which is equal to 8. And we simplify what's in here. That is actually 3. Now, the next thing we're going to do is that since my fraction dito, we're going to do cross multiplication. So we are going to multiply 27 to this one here. So 27 times 8 is actually 216. So we're going to copy this one. We multiply natin si 27 sa 8. So naging 216 siya. At may natitirang r cube. We are solving for r here. 
So we're going to divide both sides by 216. Para makancel yun, yung matitira na lang sa, sa isang side ng equation ay yung r cube. So 64 divided by 216 sa calculator nyo, the answer is uh, 8 over 27. Since we are solving for r, para ma-eliminate natin yung exponent na 3 na to, we're going to take the cube root of both sides. So cube root of r cube cube root of this fraction para ma-cancel yung exponent na 3. And so, yung r na natin dito ay, if we're going to uh, input this in the calculator, that is actually 2 thirds. Take note, cube root to ay hindi square root. So, you are going to input cube root in your calculator, hindi square root. So, now na alam na natin yung common ratio, we can already multiply this to the first term para makuha natin yung next term. So 8 times 2 thirds is 16 over 3 and 16 over 3 times 2 thirds is 32 over 9. Okay, so the two geometric mean between 8 and 64 over 27 are 16 over 3 and 32 over 9. So kung na-forget mo yung square root of the product, you can always use the formula to solve for the common ratio. And then after solving for the common ratio, you multiply it to the first term para makuha yung mga next terms. So that is how you are going to get the geometric mean of any geometric sequence.